Hi, this is Justin Taylor with NetIQ. NetIQ's new advanced authentication framework is a tool that can allow you to authenticate many different ways, from what I have, to what I know, to what I am. And today we're going to talk about the ability for me to have a device that can help me to authenticate. And so I've got my friend here, Troy. Hi, Troy. Hi, Justin. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. So give me an idea about one type of scenario that I can have something mm -hmm. with some knowledge on that might help me to authenticate. Right. Well, most people are very familiar with the RSA or VeriSign or whoever's tokens. The little ones with the yeah, number the on the counter. Yeah, little key fobs and a little counter on it. You know, you go to log in, you put your number in. Well, today, that can be seen on a phone. Now, it's not exactly the same. On a hard device, your, your seed or your token is created from one-to-one -one relationship, that device, to your server. And you could use the same seed across multiple mobile devices or device applications or however. So it's not exactly the same, but it's very close to the same. One is called HOTP, a hard token. One is called TOTP, a transportable token. So my so phone would be a transportable token? Transportable token, exactly. And that's what we're going to show here. Okay, so I've got my phone here. Mm -hmm. How do I use it? Well, go ahead. Just do a control alt delete there and select OTP. Now you'll see from this list that I have multiple ways to log in here because I do a lot of demos and I show them all. Now it's asking you for your one-time password. Okay, so I see that I have a I have a token here. A password. And you can see on your phone that your token's even changed. Okay, so it resets. So this token isn't there forever. This token is a 60 second token. That's adjustable. You can make it less or more. Uh, you may have to make it more if you have people traveling overseas. They may have poor, poor service from their laptop or their device that they're trying to log into to the endpoint service. So from the time they put that number in and hit enter, how long does it take to actually get transmitted to the server? So your window is 60 seconds for that to be successful someone else's window may need to be larger because they're on the front lines in Afghanistan. Okay. So you might have to push that up some. So let's talk about uses of this. So it seems very simple. I can mm -hmm. download this from the App Store, I'm guessing, whatever Absolutely. App Store I happen to have. Mm -hmm. um, I can load it on my device, configure it somehow mm -hmm. for my, my enterprise. Right. Um, or if I'm a customer, can I use it for those type of scenarios? What if I'm a customer? That's the best and probably one that you see a lot. You may have a banking scenario where you see it ask for one-time password or you may have um, Gmail you may have some account where when you go to do a certain transaction or when you just log in it asks you for one-time password instead of a physical password that you remember and may write down or could lose or could be hacked or any number of things so this is a very random password very safe and, uh, and it's used very widely from a, for a customer-facing type of scenario. So before I buy something, it's maybe I have a normal user and password, but then right. it's going to ask me for this OTP. That will be called step up. Yeah, that happens a lot. You get into a system, and maybe you logged in with just your username and your password, but then as soon as you go to execute a transaction that is more, let's call it secure, then you need to put the additional security methodology in there of an OTP. So retail example, we could also use it in finance probably if I'm going to do some Absolutely. kind of larger transaction. Absolutely. $10,000 you're going to transfer, $5,000, whatever the bank has it set at, they could request that. Okay. Now, what about employees? So a lot of enterprises are looking mm -hmm. at this as well. Um, what would they use this for? Well, there's a couple scenarios. Uh, one of them we talked about in, in another video, uh, sieges. So you have a police officer who's on the road. Uh, now, CGIS requires them to use a stepped-up authentication. They can use this. They can use their phone. Um, if it's not that, then uh, you might have roaming employees. And VPN just uses a username and password, and we know usernames and passwords are getting hacked every day. So why wouldn't you put an extra layer of security on top of that with an OTP? Okay, so really make sure it is who you say you are. Exactly. Or at least it's the right person with the right phone. So we're, we're making the assumption that that device is still with the right person and there needs to be a level of security on the device that the OTPs run on. But that's, that's a pretty safe assurance. We all secure our phones and if we don't then that's a different problem. Exactly. 
<laughs> well, that sounds really interesting. Really great solution here to make things very easy for customers or for employees. Great. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. This has been Justin Taylor with NetIQ. Thank you for watching.